Okay, this is Shavu and Ras TV. And don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn your post notification bell on so each time we upload a video like this, you will get it right there on your phone. So, today's topic we're going to be talking about Chinese, okay? And the stuff that the Chinese have been done across the world and then they basically escaping with everything that they done all right to africans in general not just in africa but africans across diaspora in the western hemisphere also okay so as of recently there's video all over the internet that because of this covid 19 that africans that living in china has been taken out of their hotels, out of their house, okay? Has been harassed by the Chinese government and the Chinese people, okay? And this is this, this the difference I realize with us as Africans, right? The difference with us is we always want to help people, okay? And we always have this soft heart with us we always have this soft-hearted thing about us that we always want to help other people and no one want to help us okay if we don't use these things as examples of what gonna to happen to us in the future I don't know what else we're gonna use as examples okay because these things right here that they are doing to us is just something it's just a little bit of what they're actually going to do to us in the future and actually in the present as we speak all right so currently in China, in in africa it's like to the ratio right now africa is not just of of blacks like the majority of africans right now is chinese all right like every one of these 54 con continent and uh, countries on the continent of Africa have a bunch of Chinese there all right if you go to the Caribbean also same thing all over you have Chinese so the thing is we always allow these people right to come in our country take it over and do what they want to do because we are greedy because we cannot see it in the future we just could see in the present and these people they take advantage of us and they come there because these people have a lot a large population and they are trying to spread their population across this this continent and also in it they are they are trying to also take over this whole world okay with their people with their govern with their power that they have all right because they have a large number so we in we in Africa keep on allowing these people to come in Africa and take our resources take our minerals take our coppers our our diamonds our gold our silver right we allowing them to take everything from us and they are not giving us nothing in return okay except death right so if you go back again these chinese people they go to jamaica they go to trinidad they go to africa they go to all over this continent right and they they come to america they go all over england everywhere they go and they will put up infrastructure right which means they will put up buildings they will do roads they will do a lot of things that will benefit to their country okay they will have a lot of stores everything they will have in your country and in the end they will take that money that they make in your country and send it back to china okay so you have no beneficial from from these kind of stuff it's all beneficial for them right the next thing i want to say to the africans and the continent of africa and to the to, to the jamaicans also right if you cannot go to china and start up a business or even think of it 
do not allow Chinese to come to your country and start up any business or even think about it, okay? It's eye for an eye and it's two for, for two. Do not allow these people to come to your country and start up any business, okay? Because you are not allowed to go to China and start up any business. So, if you're just going to allow these things to keep on happening to your people and your generation, this is, this is the result that we're going to get. You're doing the same thing all over again and expecting different results, okay? This has to stop. If you go on YouTube, if you go on internet, Google, anywhere, you cannot, you cannot Google a business in China that's owned by black people, okay? It's not possible. You don't have that. You're not allowed to do that. And if you even trying to do something in, Ch in China as a black person, a Chinese have to be ahead of that building. A Chinese name have to be like that. That's their base. Basically, that's their business. Okay. So why are you allowing these people to come to your country and do this kind of stuff, and you cannot go to their country? and do anything whatsoever there's no logics in that okay jamaica the same thing because the jamaican government okay they need they always looking for for money they always they always just cannot think for themselves okay they have a mind of somebody else because if you have a, a mind of your own you will never do this kind of stuff that i see you've been doing you allow these chinese to come to your country right and take up all the businesses so the jamaican the regular jamaican that was born there who was trying to survive you made these chinese people come and run them out of business and put them to suffer right and then the same chinese come there and do anything to us as black people in our own country and you government go and defend them but you, who also granted them these kind of opportunity, you yourself cannot go to China and do nothing. But they don't like you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, turn your post notification bell on so each time we upload a video like this, you'll get it right there on your phone. This is Shavu and Rice TV and I'll see you in the next video.